we go. No problem. So, how are you? Yeah, good. Good, good. I got a bit of a shock this morning, though. I got the date for my upgrade review. Me too. Uh, the 29th. Mm. I mean, I knew it was around now, but I can't believe it's come around so quickly. Still, it's nothing to worry about, is it? For me, it is. It's very important to pass. I need to get a doctor read. Well, you will. Only if I get the upgrade. You know, my, my family has spent a lot of money to support me to get a PhD. Mm. Well, you're not going to fail. I mean, it's not really a pass-fail thing anyway. I don't know. I really don't know. It always sounds like your work's going really well. Well, the lab work is OK, but the written work, I'm not sure. Maybe there's some problem. Mm. Hey. Hi. Hi. Can I join you? Uh, sure, sure, taxi. We're just talking about our upgrade reviews. Yours must be due around now, too. Ugh, oh, what a nightmare. There's no way I'm going to be ready. You'll be fine. No, I, I haven't even finished the literature review yet. I'm so far behind. So, what are you going to do? I want to try and postpone it. What does your supervisor say? <laughs> That's part of the problem. I hardly ever see her. Mm, that's not right. It's partly my fault, too. I'm just not that organised. I suppose I expected a lot more time and support from my supervisor. I understand. Well, I, I see my supervisor in the lab all the time, but he's not telling me what to do. You know, I'm not so used to this, because working on my own is not like this at home. Like I said, I'm just going to try and postpone it. Can you do that? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Talk to your supervisor. She's in Vienna at a conference. Hmm. What about your postgraduate tutor? You've got to talk to someone. I don't think very many students look forward to it. I think they probably approach it with a degree of apprehension. Um, I don't think many, a lot of them I think look at it as a hurdle that has to be overcome on, on the way. For many students it's, it's no worse than a, a, a bigger progress reporting round. At my institution, we do progress reporting every six months, and this is just a little bit more than, than a progress report. It is a matter of expectation. If students have appropriate expectations, then they engage with the process, and if they don't, they think of it as a terrifying exam, and they're frightened by it. I don't think any student goes without trepidation. But the ones who succeed the best are the ones who engage with the process as an opportunity for discourse with people who are going to be interested in knowing about their work instead of the people who, who walk fearfully. Um, it is a learning process, not just an examination process. I think at the end of the day, the students value the opportunity uh, to reflect upon where they've got to within the first year and where they're likely to get to during the remaining part of their, their PhD project. So I think as they come out of probation, I think they value the experience. Good to see you, Rebecca. Rachel, sorry, after nearly a year I ought to know your name by now. Um, remind me what you're here for? Uh, my upgrade. Oh, yes. Upgrade, upgrade, let's see. Yes, let's have a look. There we are. Literature review, fine. Research, outline, doesn't seem to be any problems here, no. You are an excellent student. And it'll be Dan and Emma on the panel, and they're likely to be pretty reasonable, so absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay. And what about my mini viva? Is there anything I can do to prepare for it? Well, it's a bit misleading to call it a viva at all. It's more of a chat. A real viva is a completely different kettle of fish. This time, it's very straightforward. Mm. I'm still a bit worried about it, especially with my research outline. I mean, what will they be looking for? Well, it's mainly about research potential. And they want to make sure that you can finish your thesis on time and that you can write clearly. It's not a problem for you. OK. But you, you've already presented your proposal at a departmental seminar and it held up very well. There's really no need to worry. OK. And is there nothing else I can do? Well, you've completed your e-portfolio record of training you've attended mm. and you're ready to give a PowerPoint presentation of all the work you've done so far. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously you have. You've pretty much done that already. Mm. And you've prepared a timetable for continuing your research. Yeah. Well, as far as I can see, you're very much ahead of the game. Oh, oops, excuse me, let me answer that. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. 